It's 2017. Something tragic is happening this year. There's an American icon that is dying. I'm talking about this. This is a Dodge Viper. This isn't any Dodge Viper. This is the 2017 Dodge Viper ACR, and it's wearing its Extreme Aero kit. It's dead. This is it. There will be no more Viper. It's an American icon that's fading into the sunset, but it's going out with its guns ablazing. Today we're going to learn a little bit about the history of the Viper while driving this absolutely ridiculous thing on the Hooniverse Highway Hooning Grounds. Insane amount of downforce and the increased drag to all of this. The spoiler. 
25 miles per hour, the car is creating 40 pounds of downforce. There's some downforce there. This car, at 155 miles per hour, is creating over 1,700 pounds of downforce. That's insane. The air is pushing you to the ground to keep this thing planted, and that's how Dodge was able to take this thing out on a high note and take it to tons of tracks around the world and break all the track records. They said, you know what, let's take this thing on a world tour. up. Now, the Corvette is a true American icon. That's basically blue jeans and rock and roll. The Dodge Viper never felt as beloved as the Corvette, but it is also an American icon. But it's much more double bass speed metal. And it's fantastic. A lot of uh, Viper purists might say this is the least hardcore of all the Vipers. And the reason they'll say that is because there's traction control, and there's a nice nav system, and the seats are comfortable. Most people are crazy. This car is batshit wild insane. It's, it's rare that I get overwhelmed in a car, but this car is overwhelmed all the senses. Fire and then pisses on its corpse. 